L1 and Hello Wall. And today, it's been a while since I've uploaded. I know, I think the last thing I uploaded was my... I hit the record button and the loudest motorcycle I've ever heard passed by. <laughs> so I think last time I uploaded something was when I did that uh, Godzilla vs. Kong trailer reaction. By the way, I will be watching the movie on opening night, <laughs> March 31st. 4.45 p.m. That's when I'm watching it. I'm avoiding spoilers the best I can, so I'm not going on Instagram at all since the movie's already been released to, like, nationwide. So not nationwide, worldwide. America's, like, the last country to get it. I hope we didn't go review on that when it comes out, but anyway. <laughs> I decided to, uh, read to you my Transformer books. Not the first one, like, crappy Transformers Fire Blast, uh, shit. This is a brand new series I made called Transformers The Shard of Life. So let's just jump into it. It's all original characters. You can read all these stories for yourself on uh, fanfiction.net. My account is VidloX, same spelling as my YouTube. So I'm going to read it to you right now. <clears throat> let's go. Transformers The Shard of Life by Aiden N. Whitley. I'm going to show this N fun fact. I'm not saying what the whole name is, but it starts with an N. Anyway, Cybertron, birthplace of the Transformers, an alien race composed of metal and at war with itself. The Decepticons, led by Megatron, against the Autobots, led by Optimus Prime. The Civil War has destroyed Cybertron and is making its way towards Earth. Coming with the war is a shard of Cybertron, a shard that has been imbued with the power to give immortality to whoever may place it inside their spark. Which is essentially Transformers talk for heart. <laughs> the shard has fractured into six different fragments and scattered across the globe, one on each continent except Antarctica. Both Autobots and Decepticons have sent a team to retrieve the shard fragments and join them together so that they can make their leader unstoppable and end the war. We're now in Puerto Rico. <laughs> 2100 hours. U.S. Army base. General Ford, sir. There's an unidentified aircraft entering the base's airspace. What should we do? Enter high alert, but do not engage. I need to see this thing for myself. You, you get to see my amazing voice acting skills. <laughs> send in a UAV to scout out and see what it is and send me back the feed. UAVs were then sent out to identify the aircraft. It's an F-22 Raptor. Weapons are not engaged. Miranda Lopez still do not engage. And this is General Ford, by the way. The Raptors have landed. Sorry, the Raptor has landed. There's not multiple. Identify the pilot. Sir, there is no pilot. What the hell is going on here? By the way, mild language. I say hell, I think, douchebag at one point. <laughs> not, nothing too insane, like, fuck a shit or whatever, but you know. <laughs> Sir, we're picking up some strange radiation from the jet. Get your weapons ready. Suddenly, a nearby tank fired a missile near soldiers. Holy crap! <laughs> then the jet started to transform. Open fire! <laughs> the now transformed jet then fired four missiles from its shoulders. Then the tank that fired the missile from before also transformed. The tank then equipped a missile launcher to its right arm and a minigun to its left. Decepticons! Transform! ordered the tank. Then a doom buggy, a humvee, and a helicopter all transformed at once. Rotor, go after the files. We'll cover you. <laughs> it's going awful. <laughs> that was the tank speaking. Then the helicopter, named Rotor, made its way to a building that contains the files Decepticons needed. The helicopter downloaded the files and destroyed the building. Decepticons, destroy the base. We have what we need. The Subcons then destroyed the base and killed everyone. We are four minutes in, I'm way in the beginning. Now in Virginia, Richmond, 7 o'clock a.m. Jordan, you're gonna be late for school. I know, Mom, I know. Don't rush me. I'm almost done. This is Jordan Wilker, our human character. Have fun at school, said his mom. <laughs> that sentence actively contradicts itself because fun and school don't mix. Oh, shut up. It'll be fine. Just a few more weeks and it'll be summer vacation. Can't wait. Jordan Wilker is a 16-year-old boy and is very often picked off because of course he is. That's the what, that's what I wrote. 
Little did he know that a fateful encounter would happen on his way to school. So he's in his car, he's driving to school. Is that a cycling truck following me? The cycling truck then picked up speed and started to chase children. Holy crap, what's your problem? The truck then chased him into an abandoned parking garage. Get out of the car! <laughs> Shouted the man in the cycling truck. Okay, fine, look, I'm out of the car. Happy now? The truck then transformed. What the? Nope, nope, I'm out of here. Screw this. <laughs> I should do audiobooks. <laughs> Jordan then started to open his car door, but the cycling truck just smashed his car before he could get in. Ah, uh, crap, 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 crap! <laughs> Jordan then started to run away doing this. <laughs> Five minutes, holy shit. <laughs> but the cycling truck caught up to him, obviously. What do you want? Who are you? Do you know about the shard? The what? The shard! The shard of life! Angel says your family knows of its location, so where is it? I thought that was just a story my dad used to tell me. I didn't know it was real. You are useless. Take me to your dad. My dad's in the Pacific Ocean. He works for the Navy. Give me the coordinates. Why would I know those? You feel into pathetic. What is this ship called? The USS Movino. Good. We let me go now? No. You know too much now. The cycling truck then got a fucking sword and was about to stab Jordan. But then another car shows up, a Toyota Sequoia, a black one, shows up and he trips his legs. <laughs> the door, the truck, sorry, the, <laughs> the car then opened its door, and he's, and Jordan's like, well, I might as well just get inside, so he gets inside. The second truck says, gah, and transforms and chases after them. After a long chase, the, uh, the second truck transformed and shot out the tires of, I'm not even reading the book like per beta anymore. <laughs> Shout out the tires of Big Boy Sequoia. The car then transformed. And it transformed its hand into a pump action hand cannon. And it fired at the recycling truck but missed. The recycling truck then shot the car's eyes. We're calling him the car for now, by the way. As the car activated a hand sword and stabbed into a cycling truck in the chest. They then started to grapple with each other, which eventually ended up breaking the fucking sword. <laughs> I'm swearing way too much in this. <laughs> anyway, the cycling truck picked up and slammed the car. The car then shot its hand cannon at the cycling truck four times, causing it to transform and drive away. Come with me, please. <laughs> Said the car as it transformed back into a car. I mean, that's all of that, might as well. Said Jordan as he got into the car and got and the driveway. Where are you taking me? You'll see soon enough. Alright then. And here we are. What is this place? The Autobot base. It's a little thrown together, but it'll do. The car then transformed back into a robot. What's your name anyway? Slapshot. You'll meet the rest of the Autobots soon enough. And who is it that attacked me? A Decepticon named Recycle. Is that name and vehicle mode a coincidence or intentional? Why would I know that? <laughs> ah, here they come. Let me introduce you to the Autobots. Four cars then entered the Autobot base. A blue Subaru, a red Honda, a 1920s car, and a Chevrolet Rusty. Then the blue Subaru transformed. I am Blue Lightning, the leader of this team of Autobots. Chev the Rusty Chevrolet transformed. I'm Snapshot, Snapshot's brother. That is Valentino, said Blue Lightning, the name of the blue Subaru. Then pointed to the car from the 1920s who then transformed. Yeah, I landed on the earth back in the 1920s and saw those getaway cars that Mops was used and thought I fit my style. I am Time Lapse, said the red Honda. He claims he can time travel, but I have my doubts, said Valentino. And this is Kid, said a bit time lapse as he picked up a boombox that then transformed. You know I hate being called that, <laughs> said Kid. Oh, it's so okay, he's throwing a temper tantrum, said Valentino, mockingly. <gasps> this is gonna be multi part just for his first part, holy crap. Oh, you wanna go? I'll very slowly tell you apart, said Kid. Try me, I dare ya. <laughs> said Valentino. Okay, let's break this up. 
kid, get back in your storage compartment, said Time Lapse. Anyway, ah, here on the rest, said Snaps, right? Then an Apache attack helicopter and an F 15 jet fly in and transform. That is Chopper and Arrowhead, said Blue Lightning. Now I will tell you about the Decepticons, said Blue Lightning. I like the voice I gave him. <laughs> there were eight Decepticons trying to stop my team from getting something called the Shard of Life. We are trying to get the shot before the Decepticons do, said Chopper. That's the helicopter, by the way. You, unfortunately, got mixed up in this whole situation. Hi, sorry about that. My dad needed my help with some stuff, so... I'm looking at the time here, and I'm realizing this is going to be a multi-part video. 